Hello, hello, George. Hi, Manuel. Hi, Mr. Rivas. Good evening. I'm sorry about the delay. I was having some issues with my um, laptop. How are you doing, guys? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. good evening. How are you guys? Everything good? Is everything all right in your Wednesday, the belly bottom of the week? Everything good. good, teacher. Good, better than yesterday. Uh, better than yesterday could be. Yeah, okay, okay, sounds good. So you went out, you didn't stay in the in the same site. Mm, not, not much, but I changed the activity and um, I had a couple of meetings and other other things to do okay okay that sounds just fine uh, so it is important right that you got like other activities there ah okay so mr palma will just be a listener uh, juan carlos will be joining us today i don't know if you'll be a listener or you'll be with us mr rivas Okay. okay, okay, Olga, good evening. Thank you for joining us as well. Really nice to have you on this Wednesday. Well, guys, um, okay. Thank you, teacher, good evening. How are you, miss? Everything all right? Yes, teacher, I'm fine, thank you. Okay, nice, nice, sounds really good. Really, really nice indeed. All right, guys, um, so we're gonna get started with today's session, right? Uh, hopefully the rest of the guys uh, will be joining us and will be participating as well. So I, ha I hope you have a very nice Wednesday, a very nice belly bottom of the week. And uh, I have today like some, uh, this unit is about crisis management, emergencies, you know, so I have a couple of listening exercises and uh, definitely I hope you can shared a couple of things with us as well. Um, to get started, guys, I got this picture here that is about choices. So I got a question for you. If you had to select one of these things, um, so which would you select? Uh, for example, number one, if number one is a choice, guys, and you have a, having a chocolate cake or having a salad, which would you select and why? Chocolate so, cake. Oh, oh, okay, that was fast. Okay, so why a chocolate cake and not a salad? I, I, I like the the sweet. Ah, so you have a sweet tooth. Yes. So, I yes. prefer the, the sweet than the salad. Ah, okay, okay. It's really interesting. Um. Normally, when people like sweet stuff, we say or we call them that they have a sweet, sweet tooth. So sweet tooth is like you like sweet things in general: candy, chocolate, uh -huh, cake, desserts. Uh, are you into all those kind of things? Yes. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. So that that's a problem too. Why? Why is it a problem? Because the the sugar and and the sweet tooth are dangerous to the health. I've heard that. I've heard that. Um, so if you are into sweet stuff, um, you may be having some uh, problems with your. I don't remember. Is diabetes? Is that no, diabetes, I think. It would be triglycerides. Ah, okay. High cholesterol. I don't know if that is related. Okay. Okay. So it is, I mean, it's good. It's delicious, but maybe bad. Okay. <laughs> okay. We get that. Uh, hi, Diana. Good evening. Hi, Susana. Thank you for joining. Great to see you girls. Uh, hi, Tatiana, teacher. good evening. How you doing? Okay, good evening, hi, teacher. Hi, Mary. Wow, Lupe, how are you? Okay. Really nice to see you girls. Okay, girls, um, so Jorge says that in number one here between choices, 
if he is to be uh, to choose a chocolate cake or a salad, he goes for a salad. What about you guys? W which one would you uh, take? A chocolate cake or a salad? For me, both. <laughs> I know, okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, but but if you had to take one, I mean, imagine you got no much money. Uh, you have enough just for one thing. So which one would you take? And then chocolate cake. Oh, chocolate cake too. Why? <laughs> Salad is uh, healthier. Yes. Uh, so why? Why a chocolate cake? Uh, because the um, chocolate cake um, is sweet mm -hmm. and how calories mm -hmm. so it is um, bad <laughs> <laughs> but it is susten sustainable uh, 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 i don't know how you would say sustainable like makes you full makes you feel full <laughs> but the salad too <laughs> <laughs> okay. but if, if i don't money i don't have money and the chocolate is the best option for me oh okay that's a really good point so chocolate cakes are cheaper right than salads normally healthy food is really expensive okay but but maybe she want to say if the if she eats salad mm -hmm. he get hungry hungry uh, because hungry like to soy the salad is not enough ah okay ah okay that's a really good point or oh, yeah right so when you normally get a salad or some soup uh, you feel hungry uh sooner than with a normal meal but you know <laughs> with chocolate cake you'll be hungry as well <laughs> okay interesting girls uh what about the rest chocolate cake or salad which one would you go to um would you go for hi nelson good evening thank you for joining me Seron. good evening hi wendy great to see you here hi ariela mm -hmm. so good evening okay um you know i know that salads are really healthy but i would go for a chocolate cake as well so <laughs> um i think it's more delicious right even if it is not that healthy um guys what about what about the second one um if you got to make a choice between studying uh for a very important test or sleeping uh which would you take So studying or the sleeping? Sleeping. <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> Why? In my case, sleepy teacher, I can't study in the night. I you can't? I lost the, the battle with the sleepy. Really? Oh, yes. interesting. Okay. You can't study at night? So it means that this class from a uh, from eight to ten, I mean that's a a battle right there, right? So you're struggling, or it, it is early. You, you can notice that, but I'm sleeping. Okay. Yeah, so rainy you, day. In rainy days, oh, <laughs> in rainy days, that's a battle. I totally get it, guys. So when we finish classes, do you immediately go to bed? uh yes a couple of minutes ah okay so it's not okay okay got it all right hi wendy good evening good evening teacher how you doing <laughs> i'm fine okay I, nice. I, I work i work <laughs> Do what today? Okay. Yeah. All righty. Uh, Wendy, between a sleeping and a studying, which one would you select? Like a studying for a test, right? A really important test. Be so what would you select? Sleepy. But you had to choose one. 
<laughs> you, you cannot be half asleep. <laughs> in, my, okay. in my case, I I am crazy. I'm studying for this. <laughs> oh, okay. So between a sleeping and a study, you will go and study yeah. for an exam. Ah, yes, okay. I'm nervous, nervous for tests or for exam or mm -hmm. partial in in this moment uh, I was I studied so no. so when you have evaluations you study yeah. you don't go to bed um I I sleep but but first uh, study Okay, so you, even you sleep a little. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Guys, what about next one? Buy an iPhone or go on a holiday? <laughs> Have you ever, I don't know, been in this situation that you had to make a decision like this? Because um, an iPhone can be what? How much is an iPhone, guys? How much is the, the latest iPhone? Uh, like 1,300? Uh, 1,200? 500. Five one thousand five hundred. Yes. Fifteen hundred for an iPhone. Oh, I thought it was cheaper. Okay. So and go on a holiday can be where? Uh where can we go with fifteen hundred dollars? You can make Colombia? A, yes, Colombia is maybe five hundred. The fly another five hundred to to spend maybe you guys can. we yeah and we have wendy too i just have forgot it <laughs> she's the expert in this matter maybe maybe going to roatan teacher uh, or miss you can Ruatan. go like you can take seven. three people to roatan seven <laughs> seven hundred uh -huh, yeah. like yes, everything inclusive so um Wendy, with uh, $1,500, with $1,500, uh, where can we go? What? Where? Where can we go? I think Mexico, right? What? Uh, what, what, what money? $1,500. $1,500. $1,500. Where can we go? Five hundred. Mm, I know. Um, oh, Five hundred. Mexico only travel ticket and uh, three hundred of three or four hundred Mexico. Okay. No, fifteen. Fifteen hundred. Um, or one thousand five hundred. So you can take even, you know, your family <laughs> to Mexico with only that amount ticket, of money. Only ticket, for example, Spain, only ticket. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, only too much ticket money. And, and the security, the assistance, insurance, the insurance. The mm -hmm. In offer, in offer. Oh, mm -hmm. include hostel, hotel. A little, okay, a hotel. hotel. All right. Or an Air, uh, Airbnb, that I think it's more common now, right? So, yes. okay, guys, between buying the, the latest iPhone, that is $1,500, or going on holiday, so when you mentioned that you can go to uh, Mexico to Spain, you know, with this amount of money, you have cheaper places like uh, Roatan or the, um, what is Colombia. So which would you, which would you select and why? <laughs> Obviously, without them, I prefer go holiday. Okay, going. You would take the holiday. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Where? I, I mean, want to go to Panama. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. And uh, maybe if I can, uh, I, I sell travel and ticket. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so even if you go to Panama, you can buy electro, you can buy electronics, right, and resell them here in El Salvador, <laughs> so you can make some extra money. Yes. 
Guys, what about the rest of you? Brazil. Oh, I don't know how much you need to go to Brazil. Okay, it's but expensive. I think yes, so. Okay, I have no idea. Guys, has any anybody been to Brazil? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet, not yet, guys. <laughs> probably the future okay okay so taking on a holiday guys would anybody buy a cell phone the latest iphone the latest samsung no nobody i consider oh, that it's a waste of the money it's a waste of money is it okay well yeah. It's different when the company gives uh, gives it out to you, right? But okay, could be, could be. All right, but nobody said yes, so I, I was like hoping somebody would say yes. <laughs> okay, what about next one, guys? Um, the next one says give money to charity or save it. So if you had the chance, guys, or if you had some extra funds, um, what would you do? Honestly, I will save it. <laughs> ah, okay. I need the charity for myself. <laughs> <laughs> charity for my bad moments and <laughs> and bad days. Okay, so you would save it. Nobody would you give it to charity. Give, give money to charities for rich people, teacher. We just save it. Okay. No, but I mean, uh, money to charity doesn't mean like a lot of money, probably. I don't know. How much would you give? $10? $20? You know, according to our salary. So you would just keep it. You would save it. Save it, definitely. <laughs> okay. So the, there is not like a big dilemma here. Okay. Okay. Guys, what about the last one? It says, um, if you had to make a choice here, um, and be honest about a friend's bad hairstyle or say a lie, right? Or tell your friend a lie about it. Um, what would you do? Imagine that your friend's hairstyle is really bad but, and it's your best friend. So what would you do guys in that scenario? What would you do in that case? If she, if she is my best friend, uh -huh. I <laughs> I say her, but you would tell her. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. How? But if, um. Um. Suggest um, a better, a better style. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. You're super honest. Uh huh. But yeah. but if is other person, uh huh, <laughs> lie. You will lie. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. Guys, what about the rest of you? So, Susanna, what would you do in that situation? Um. So, would you tell your friend? Hey, that looks really bad. Hi, Mr. Bayer. Hi, Mr. Villeda. No, I be I good. I good like uh, uh, honest with my friends. Okay, so with your friend, you will be honest. Yes. And with a stranger. Yes. <laughs> really. It's a bad five stay. Yes. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So would you tell the person, oh, look, that doesn't look nice on you? <laughs> that doesn't, you know, uh, suit you or fit you or anything? Really? Wow, I really admire that. <laughs> okay. Um, but it's a, a, I say, I say uh, it's honestly. Uh -huh. But it's a, um, it's a, depend, it's a, Con confianza how do you say confianza depending if you trust the person so trust 
Yes. So, okay. Depending on the um, how much you can trust or I don't know, probably how close you are to that person, right? Um, so that's important. Hey, I'm sorry, I didn't see the message before. Um, Guadalupe, what do you mean by plastic paradise, plastic surgery, wine and cheese? I'm not quite sure. Probably we were talking about the places where you would travel, I'm not quite sure. Uh, I think I missed that part. Maybe with the, with the money that she say, she she prefer go a to a plastic surgery. <laughs> yes. Why did she? Oh, okay. Not yeah. not a bad idea, you know. <laughs> okay, instead of the iPhone, instead of spending uh fifteen hundred dollars in an iPhone, so it's not a, a bad idea to. I spend it on a plastic surgery. <laughs> okay. Okay. That sounds like a really good investment. Okay, guys. Um, so today we're gonna talk, uh, we're gonna be talking a little bit about a bigger uh crisis, right? That we have experienced, bigger accidents and emergencies. Um, we're gonna work a little bit in your material for unit number three. And uh, we have one sec. Let me just Oh, it moved. Hold on. So I just got part of unit three exercise, but sorry, it moved. Where are you? Okay. So um, let me just uh, present over to you this one. Um, so we're gonna like check a little conversation here. This is in your material. And uh, it's related to um, crisis, right? And emergencies that we can get at a work and likewise. So um, we have this little conversation and uh, it says the turns practicing the model conversation. Olga, can you please help us with Nina, uh, the first person right there? Uh, Susanna, can you please help us with Jill? Uh, that's the second person. Thank you, George. You can help me next round. So, um, so Nina will be Olga and Susana help us with Jill, please. Okay, teacher. Okay. Did you hear about our competition? There is a, a rumor about their seal mistreating his employees and it is out everywhere on the internet. The mouse be an employees try to sue the company they could have prevent this issue issues mm -hmm. uh, but their uh, public relations department is not that solid i think so too when the rumor went online the pr department to have called for a press conference yes there is even a video and pictures out there now. Our PR department will have good, good not I wouldn't so, have no wouldn't worries. Have That's okay. Allowed the situation to come this far. I hope they find a way out this pinch. Okay, thank you so much, girls. It's really nice. So they are talking, you know, about this scenario um, in which the person is mistreating employees, right? Um, guys, do you think this is common in El Salvador? Like you mistreat or possess mistreat employees? Is this kind of common? Um, just to give you an idea about mistreat, when we include the word miss to another person, word to a verb normally so this is like like a mistake this is something bad right so treat you know that treat is like tratar right so mistreat gives you the idea of something bad uh for example if i say spell um so you know that a spell is deletrear but if i put miss spell 
ah, that is a negative one, right? So we're talking about a negative word. Or I say understand. I understand, I don't understand. But if I put miss, it gives me a negative meaning, right? So misunderstand is like, ah, I entendí mal. So I misunderstood the whole thing. So do you think that mistreating people is, is it common in El Salvador? Like maltratar, right? Is it common in your companies? Yes. Have yes, you ever sure. been? Really? But verbally, not physically, right? It's a Nobody's burden. going to spank you <laughs> <laughs> or slap you. No, but um, verbally? Do people, verbally, yes, teacher. Do bosses mistreat you? Yeah. I, I consider there are yes. other ways to be mistreated, like psychological, maybe. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. With a lot of pressure. Or, Ah, okay, okay. Let, let's talk about the different kind of uh, mistreatment that we can get at work. So you say psychological, right? Like a lot of pressure. Okay. Mm, what else? What is a sort of mistreat uh, example you can mention? I would say um, when all activities are, are time, or there is a timer um, or timely related activities. For example, uh, the time you go to the bathroom, the time to go to um, the Seguro Social or insurance or health, um, you know, appointments, right? So I would say that is a sort of mistreatment. Do you have any other example? Teacher. Uh, I think when you don't want to do so over time and they get upset or ah, and when okay. you and when you need another time because you have an appointment, they say no because you you didn't want to do all overtime, for example. Ah, okay. Okay. So like do they take back on you? Do they take like revenge or something? But you said they get upset, right? It looks looks like that, but uh, I don't know when when they when I don't want, for example, I don't want to do so overtime, and after that I I say please I have to do something or I have an appointment. Uh, they say you have to change your day off. You can I I don't give you a permission. You have to you have to do a swap for uh, your day off. Oh, okay. So when they don't respect your time off, okay. I've never been there, but that is awful, you know, that uh, they want to force you to work um, even if you don't feel like. Okay, so when they don't respect your time off. Okay, any other way? Guys, have you ever been insulted? Last time we talked about sweat words. Have you ever been insulted? Like, no. No? I mean, I haven't. No. I, I think they can do that because uh, mm -hmm. HR is know. very, <laughs> but but in, in my job, I think that is not possible because mm -hmm. HR is really, no. really A strict. human. They, yes, they are very, very, I think they are fair. So okay. you can, they don't, they can do that actually, but okay. they take revenge with another. <laughs> it's not it's directly. <laughs> But they yeah, no, way. Not, no, but I'm talking about a call center's life because you know that is a is very hard when you when you work at, as a at call center. It is, it is okay, but that is a really good point. So they don't insult you directly, but they find a way to take back. So to take revenge, <laughs> okay. Um, Olga, but hi, hi, Mr. Rivas, tell us. Bowling. Bullying. Ah, bullying. But in at work, there is another word that I heard recently. Maybe Diana can help us with this because I'm not sure if at work the word has changed to mobbing or something like that. Diana, I don't know if you're there. Yes, I'm here, teacher. Sorry. Do you have any idea if the word has changed to mobbing? Because that is know, more teacher. psychological. No, okay, okay. So, uh, but bullying, let's leave it as bullying and let me investigate if there is another term because I heard that a couple of months ago or years ago, I'm not sure, there is another for, uh, for work. But yeah, bullying, all right. 
any other. I saw like Olga saying, yes, yes, to everything. <laughs> um, Olga, have you ever been mistreated at work? Is there any other example you'd like to share? Maybe I work in extra time and don't pay. I'm so sorry. Uh, could you say that again, please? The company sometimes uh, 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 hacen trabajar a los empleados. I think she is talking about overtime to when yes. it doesn't pay that time, I think. Yes. It is not paid. Okay. And, and some companies, yes, teacher. Okay, and in your company? In my company too. <laughs> it, it is paid or Don't it is- pay a, ah. our time. Okay, so it is not paid, all right. And they, and they ah. give you a, a pizza. <laughs> They give you a pizza. That that reminds me of a meme, you know. So they give you a pizza or they give you what is the other thing? Wait. Um oh my god, it's like a sort of sandwich. Um green a color. Topper. No. <laughs> the, the sandwich. <laughs> I forgot the name. A sour. Okay. So uh like pizza or a sour. Okay. Not paid of tea. Oh, but that's so bad. Okay. Or so, a squeeze too. A squeeze. <laughs> okay. So all the techniques they announced already. Okay. So, I mean, it's, that's it's, not already. Case, it's not my case. It's not my case. I'm not talking about my job. <laughs> I know. A friend of mine. <laughs> okay. That's la vieja confiable, right? <laughs> I totally get that. So here we have like mistreated, right? Or any sort of mistreatment that we can get. And there is this other word that I think is really important that is so previously we checked it. Um, so remember that so is more like a legal word um, when you feel that your company is bad, when you feel that your company doesn't respect um, you as a person. So you go to Ministerio de Trabajo, to Labor's uh, Ministry, and you sue your company. You say, oh, I am a victim. <laughs> so uh, I am a victim here, right? So, so la victima and everything. So normally um, that is the word that we use uh, for sue. So um, let me just take a look. Any other scenario that's, this is like a very common thing, I guess. Do we have any other uh, real uh, or really big scenario in companies? Because I think that they are not that bad. Do you have any idea, like something really big that has happened in any company? Not much. When they fire people, um, I forgot the word. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so when they fire people, okay, uh, by the end of the year, I think it's really common, right? So they start firing. Uh, what, what is the word you're looking uh, for, Diana? <laughs> injustificadamente. Uh huh. Okay. Or unfairly. So unfairly. Okay. Uh, with not. Yeah, unjustified. That could be. Or just because you know. Um, but give me a second. I think I'm missing something here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I want you to take a look, guys, at uh, this page. It is page number 26. And there we have some vocabulary that we're going to be using today. So we have natural disasters, like the days before we were talking about uh, earthquakes, uh, tremors, you know, hurricanes, all those things. We also have right there. Uh, power outage, we have IT system failure, we have strike, and we have product recall that we're going to check that out. We're going to check what it is. 
Um, guys, are, are you familiar with this vocabulary? Are you familiar with these expressions in red color? A teacher strike? Yeah. I don't know what is the meaning. Strike? Right. Okay. Um, well, in the last three years, there hasn't been any strike. But this was very common in buses, you know. One day, all buses together, they said, ah, tomorrow we won't work. So they stopped okay. working. They went to the streets, you know, with posters and everything. And we, Salvadorian, had to walk a lot to get our jobs. So that yes. was very common in buses. That was a strike. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if there's any other kind of... Has there been a, a, I don't know, a strike recently? I don't think so. And even um, after the COVID-19, everything, you know, changed and I don't remember any recent strike. So, but that is a, a strike, right? A company says, we are not going to work today and they don't work just because, you know. So, um, product recall, have you ever heard about this word? I don't know if you remember, uh, Samsung had a, a phone when Samsung started that the phone exploded. And in El Salvador, there were like two or three accidents that if you were charging your phone, suddenly it just exploded, you know? Um, so they decided to take all the phones, you know, and they took them from the market and they disappeared. So that is a product recall. I don't know if you remember that was like, I don't know, maybe eight years ago, but it was a long time ago. So they exploded. But product recall means they they come back to the to the warehouse. Okay. They are they are taken, right? They are taken from the market and they disappear. So you, you don't have it anymore. I don't I don't remember any other product. I guess that was the most uh, common case, right? So take a look at these expressions, guys. And um, there in exercise number four, we have five different um, scenarios or examples. And we are going to select what is the best definition of that scenario. I'm going to give you five minutes. So you try to um, put it together. We have natural disasters, power outage, so no electricity, IT system failure, I, when you go to Ministerio de Hacienda, right? <laughs> no system, so nothing works. Then we have a strike and product recall. So I'll give you five minutes, guys.
One more minute, guys. Okay, guys, so what do you have in number one? The fleet a crew of the British Airways airline stopped their usual activity. Um, so what would that be? Strike. Strike. Mm -hmm. Strike. That's a strike, exactly. Number two, uh, I mm -hmm. kind of gave mm -hmm. you the answer away. <laughs> so Samsung is doubling its efforts to recall right the product so that would be recall. Product product recall. Recall. Uh -huh. so that, exactly like to they uh bring it back all right netflix received the countless complaints when the service went offline because of a faulty glitch in the system what do you think it is IT system. IT system system failure. Failure. does your company suffer this is it common to have it system issues no no no, it doesn't go down. All right. Sometimes. Number, so, oh, that is heaven, you know. <laughs> so seven heaven. Number four, the earthquake in Japan 2011 destroyed many production facilities. Um, what would that be? Natural, uh, nat natural, natural disaster. Natural disaster, right. So they cannot work anymore because of the earthquake. Um, number five, a massive power interruption in Taiwan caused a great material loss to the production of the new iPhones. So power that would be power outage. Power exactly, outage. power outage. So when we normally have like um, electricity goes off, right? We can say, oh, I'm sorry, I have a power outage. There is a power outage, right? So that is the word that we use for no tengo electricidad. So, oh, there is a power outage. Okay, guys, in the exercise below, we have something very similar. Here we have a crisis come in different categories. Some are easier to handle than others. Uh, cross out the crisis that doesn't belong in the category. We have natural disasters. Between hurricanes, infrastructure collapse, and earthquake, what is the one that doesn't belong? There is one that is not in that category, that shouldn't be in that category. Infrastructure collapse. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about number two? Uh, malevolence. Product tampering. Tampering is like manipulation, right? Boycott or malicious rumors? Boycott. 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 Okay. Uh, product tampering. Product tampering? That is like manipulation. Like when you imagine that you sell food, but in the food you sell, I don't know, you spit because the food goes to a client and you really don't like that person. So, uh -huh. so tempering is like manipulation or alteration. So what do you think? Boycott. Boycott. That sounds like the most probable answer. Number three, product recall. Adultered, uh, adulterated products misbranded products or software failure? What do you think? Software failure. Software, software failure. failure. Yeah, right, because software failure, we don't really need to, to withdraw products. IT system, hacking, sabotage, or server malfunction? Server, server malfunction. Mm, what do you think? Sabotage, so that would be the one, exactly. Because hacking is related to computer servers too. Uh, utilities mm -hmm. failures. Uh, utilities is when we're talking about kitchens, right? Kitchens, everything related to uh, server. Service. 
terrorism, right? So yeah, that's not very common, but gas outages, imagine that you work in the kitchen or you work in a restaurant, suddenly there is no gas. So, you, you know, there is no gas, so you cannot cook. Uh, and there is power outage, right? So that would be the most common. All right, um, so we're gonna change this a little bit. Give me one moment here. Do you think that, okay, let me see. Maria Elena says in my company, they created policies so that this doesn't happen, but the public transportation system and social security, for example, give a terrible attention. Okay. So, oh, mistreatment. Ah, yes. That's a really good example. Okay. So when you go to Seguro Social, right? So, and you feel mistreated. Uh -huh. Guys, do you like going to Seguro Social? Do you like going for it? your health insurance provider. <laughs> Is that a satisfactory, I don't know, um, experience the one you get? <laughs> I don't think so, right? I think nobody has that, okay. You lost a lot of time in yes. that appointment. Yeah, you definitely do. You definitely do. Okay, guys. So um, I have a couple of scenarios that we're going to be discussing talking about crisis. I don't know how big they can be in your company. Probably some would apply, probably some wouldn't. Take a look at these scenarios. Here we have, assume your company was involved in the crisis below uh, and take turns responding to the questions. What would you have done as a manager? Um, imagine that this is something that um or not necessarily in the past but what do you think is the best way to handle this problem number one says dissatisfied employee releases a video of themselves tampering with the product of the company manipulating right the video goes viral and customers are rage. guys do you remember the video of the guys that was released from pollo campero they were not tampering the products, uh, but they were like in a warehouse and it went viral. Maybe not. Okay. Yeah. Just me. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so it happened like three years ago. Okay. Number two says a new laptop model has been released in the market. A few days later, it is discovered that the new model has a flaw. A flaw is like a glitch, right? Like a problem which makes its battery explode or catch fire. So what do you think is the best way to release it without causing like a big, uh, bigger issue? Three, one of your employees from a branch store had to defend himself against an aggressive customer, but social media is re reporting the issue as a case of an aggressive employee attacking a customer. This is very common in Guys, in El Salvador, there are a lot of videos like these. I don't know if you remembered Omnisport, I, I think was one. What is it, Jorge? Sarita, I remember. Ah, Sarita, yes. And there was a bar too. Uh, I don't know, a restaurant bar, I think. I don't yeah, remember the bar. name. In Zona Rosa, I think. Yeah, and, but I don't remember exactly what happened, so. What do you think is the best way to like face these issues, right? And number four, a hurricane has made it most is has made it almost impossible for your employees to get to the company facilities. Guys, uh, in the last uh, Julia hurricane, a lot of these things happened. Some companies, especially public, um, you know, the ones who work for public or for the government, the day was off. But for the rest of the companies, we needed to work. So what is the best way to handle these situations? I mean, I worked, guys, I don't know if you did, and I believe you did. <laughs> so what is the best way to handle these issues, right? Um, we're going to discuss them, guys, for uh, 15 minutes. Try to bring your recommendations, your solutions, what you would do in this scenario or the best way to handle it, right? So I'm going to invite you guys uh, to join 
the session, give me just a moment. Wait a second. Okay, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, guys, so I'm going to uh, send it to some groups so you can come up with some ideas. And um, let me just check it here. Okay, so uh, Silvia, stay here, please. Jorge, stay here. Uh, Diana and Claudia, stay here in the session. Guys, the rest of you are welcome to join the others. A session. So let's go ahead, guys. We have 15 minutes to try to come with some solutions. I will um, turn off my mic so you can have, you know, the, the chance to participate, guys. Uh, let's go to the groups, please. A uh, quick question: Did you take notes of the um, of the situations of the statements? Did you take a screenshot? It's in the page 29. Mm -hmm. It's in page 29. Thank you. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Nice. I'll stop uh, sharing this so you can uh, go ahead and participate, guys. So I'll give you some minutes. In the meantime, let me go ahead and monitor the other groups. Okay. Hello, Diana, Silvia, Olga, uh, Maria, Manuel, Juan Carlos. No. Pasando lista. Uh, yes. I, I think just two or three, but there are a lot. <laughs> but it's better because more ideas. Just give me a second. I'm trying to open the book. The page number 29. It doesn't work. No. <laughs> because it's late. But I have the, the screenshot. If you like, we can stop. Uh, do you have one or I can share? Page 29. 29. Yes, it's not, it's not working. <laughs> I, I have it in the computer and it doesn't work. But okay. here I have the screenshot. Uh, okay, it says fair work. Okay, thanks. Thanks for that. The number one is dissatisfied employees release a video of themselves tampering with the product of the company. The video goes viral and the customers are outrage. Uh, but what would you have done as a manager? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Depend on the person. The, the video is, is viral right now. What do you do in that case? Uh, make other video to try to the, the change the that the employees say saying fire them <laughs> huh? fire them fire them uh, could be worst bro do you consider yeah. It works or not to fire the employees? For the image of the company, it, it, it could be worse. Yes. But they they don't deserve deserve continuing the the company. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I think 
that is like the case of what happened. I don't know if you, you mentioned it. What happened in Sarita of the men that that hit, a, hit, uh, uh, that hit an, another one, uh, Sarita. Ay, ando olvidando las palabras. <laughs> lo, re, lo despidió. Get fired to the, uh -huh. to the employees. In, but, in that case. But, uh, but I don't know if in this situation is because the company mistreat the employees, then yes, could be worse for the company. Yes, because they, the video is, is related to tempering the product of the company. Uh, so I consider you had to to change that image of the, the product. Mm -hmm. But how do you do that with other video? Yes, maybe. <laughs> or like giving an explanation or apologizing to the customers. Yes. Or they they use social media to write like a text explaining the situation. Doing like a conference trying to explain mm -hmm. the issue. And and do or and make some promotion to to show that is false. Yes. What say the other partners? Silvia Olga. Um, well, in the case of the Sarita, I saw this employee uh, was a uh, imprudent because they they pelea, uh, how do Fight. Fight. Fight with other men. Uh -huh. Then this is a bad model for the employees because uh, he, he is representative of the company. Mm -hmm. And the people um, give the opinion in the in the social media, and the social media are are very very influent in. Mm -hmm. In the country, I think about this. But but what do you think uh, the the manager did to to change that image of the manager? Yes, the manager or or the company. Mm, well, I think the manager um, changed the employee because this case was was so bad for the company and in this person. <laughs> uh, Protagonizor, digamos, un, un mal, mm, comportamiento. Ajá, uh, for the company in general. Do you consider the manager as 
for a for an apology. Mm, yes, I consider that. Okay. What else? Other opinion? I I think that uh, if the owner or manager is is who teach to bad thing, uh, mm, he don't make a difference for for better. Uh, sorry, in, in other. Uh, no sé si me doy a entender. It, it... <laughs> decir, si el, el jefe o dueño o manager le ha enseñado a los empleados a hacer las cosas malas, cambiar, aunque salgan videos eh, mostrando el, el mal trabajo que puedan hacer los empleados, no, no va a pasar nada, solo es un video más. Is fault of, of the manager too. Then we fire the manager. <laughs> yes, but the, the question is what would you what have would done you? as a manager? Mm -hmm. yeah, I, in the in the good way or say something. Yes. What is the question? <laughs> uh, Dissatisfied employees release a video of themselves tampering with the product of the company. The video goes viral and customers are outraged. Uh, do you do you hear Claudia? Yes, I was reading the first one, right? Yes, number one. I think that is responsible of uh, the manager. Point of view. Sorry, I can hear you, I can hear you. That is not responsible about the manager. It's not responsible. Okay. I'm sorry about this house. It's a disaster. <laughs> no worries, Claudia. Don't worry, but we can change no, to. Yes, huh? to number. I think the first one, the things as a manager that we can do is to give an apologies to the to the customers. For yes, the yes an, apo an apology could be the best, the best way to change that opinion. Okay, let's go to number two. Number two, a new laptop model has been released into the market. A few days later, it is discovered that the new model has a flash, a flow, which makes its battery explode, catch fire, while charging. That's why. <laughs> yes. What, what do you do as a manager? In that case, uh, it's uh, oh, what we saw the product recall. Ask for an apology and recover the all uh -huh. product. The product, yes. And 
they will then return the money <laughs> to the customer. Yes. I will do the same, return the money and pick up all the give an apology and maybe give some 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 discounts. Yes, yeah, some or uh, a gift card to to do better the the apologize yes. <laughs> that's why i consider like a bonus yes uh, a gift card to the selectors maybe to <laughs> Yes, it's a good idea. But I, I consider that case is some some clear what is the the way or the that the manager have to do. Or do you consider other other scenario? I think in this case, the best you can do is to recall the products. Try to don't lose the the customers. Mm -hmm. Okay. One of your employees from a branch store had to defend himself against an aggressive customer, but social media is reporting reporting the issue as a case of an aggressive employee attacking a customer. That was the case. I remember some case when uh, maybe I'm not sure if was a an agua cristal driver who who passed the the wheel of the of her him car over an old man. No, I don't remember. I remember that case, but I'm not sure. But what do you think about this this scenario? I think in that case you have to defend your employee and explain what happened, what really happened. Mm -hmm. Yes, me too. Yes, I think that. Yes, try to 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 show that really happened in, mm -hmm. in that moment. Maybe complete or or add information to that video that would be viral. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think the manager explained the situation in social media and TV, maybe in radio. Yes. Do you consider it necessary the manager ask for uh, maybe people that saw all the all the case or all the the issue and they may and then they make a um, uh, in interview to explain the, the case. Yes. Like the win witnesses. witnesses. Yes. Yes, I think that it's a good idea. There are other ideas about that or is the more common idea in that case. I think we have 
Hmm. Okay, and the last one, number four, a hurricane has made it almost impossible for your employees to get to the company facilities. What do you do as a, as, like a manager? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I think like human being, <laughs> you should understand and give to them the day off, but they are not like that here. <laughs> Just give the, the day off. What do you think, think about, about the home the home office? Home office. But I think that depends from for the work you do. Because if you work like in a restaurant, you can do <laughs> Home office. You can do anything. Yes. Yes. Uh, I don't know, maybe to hire um, transportation and go to near places from the the way the, the houses of the employees. Uh, maybe not. Mm -hmm. I consider in that in this case because of the hurricane, the the, the bridge are falling down, and the uh, the roads are broken, and nor there is no way to to go to the facilities. Yeah. What do you do in that case? Well, they, we don't don't open the the company that day. Yes. Yes. Actually, I I remember some some companies that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Yes. During the, the storm. Yes. They close, and they change the the schedule yes and close before early yes early yes okay i guess there are Only... some companies continue mario I don't know who was talking, so please go ahead. That uh, there are some companies that, for the nature of their uh, operations, they cannot uh, stop working because, uh, in some cases, it's a uh, highly needed that they continue working. Mm -hmm. in, in my case, I I'm, I'm work uh, at the port, and the port uh, they never uh, never uh, close. Mm -hmm. Yes, there they, are people in turn. They 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 barely, uh, almost always, are working there. A few days uh, at the year that there is a uh, high problem with uh, with swells or something like that that the vessels cannot uh, stay alongside for safety alongside they decide to to take off all the the vessels and shift shift them to the anchorage. That the 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 only time that when they decide to stop the the pressure, but it's not because they decided, it's because 
uh, almost all the the captain's vessel decide to be shifted to the anchorage. And in my case, when when the Amanda storm uh, in the 2020, mm -hmm. I remember that the the storm was uh, really really bad. Uh, the port was really affected because the the swell, all the vessels have uh, decided to go to the anchorage. And in my company, they decided that, uh, actually I, I, I went to the office and I remember that, that my boss only asked me, hey, what's happening in the port? Now all the vessels are outside, are awaiting the, the weather improve and then blah, blah, blah. And they asked me, uh, and who, where are you at? At the office. Ah, okay. It, it was a salary. And, and they asked me, and you will go tomorrow? Yes. Uh, I will come tomorrow. Okay. Go, because you don't know if uh, the vessel will, uh, or, or if the port will decide to, to birth some vessel. And I, uh, I only was waiting that they only told me you can stay at home because it is a little bit dangerous to to go to the work i i thought actually that that they will tell me that but instead of that they decided i have to go to the office only to to see the vessels that was outside <laughs> Yes, to see at the distance. Yeah. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Hi guys. Thank you for coming back. I'm sorry, I just didn't want to to stop you. I heard Mario was super excited, uh, telling us <laughs> a little bit about the issues, and that is just amazing. Uh, so I was listening, guys. Uh, at the moment, I'm sorry, Jorge. I'm going to start. Yeah, I'm gonna stop you from sharing so um we were having oh or continue sharing please continue sharing that is totally fine um so we were having some issues uh trying to come up with ideas you know uh, um about these situations but i think it's because we don't have these scenarios clear um so first in order to get uh, more ideas i have uh, chosen a couple of videos that we can watch okay but we are going to watch them. Since you prefer to work listening individually, I'm going to give you some uh, videos um, to check super quick. So give me just a second. So I continue. Okay. <laughs> so uh, Diana, uh, Jorge, Marios, <laughs> I don't know if Mr. Villeda is here. Um, so let me see who else is here. I'm going to give you, uh, uh, um, I'm going to give you, oh, hi, hi, hi there. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys one video that is related to Samsung. So um, I'm going to share the link here so you can watch it, you can check it. Uh, there is a lot of vocabulary because it's real English, so you can watch it as many times as you want. You can play subtitles, no subtitles, whatever you prefer. So that is related to Samsung, so you can give us more ideas on that. The second video, guys, goes to uh, Tatiana, uh, Susana, so para que rime. <laughs> so I'm going to give it to Tatiana. Uh, to Susana, uh, who else is here? I'm going to give it to Olga. So second video, guys, is about um, like an event that is stopped, right? Uh, people stop working and everything. So next video goes for uh, Ariel. I think Ariel is here. So Ariela, Wendy, uh, Claudia. Um, Antonio is not. And... Um, Mm, let me see. Mm, Sylvia, so I'm gonna give it this one. The next video, guys, is about food uh, tampering, right? So according to this one, you saw that uh, food uh, tampering 
is like manipulating food. This video, guys, is really long, but I just want you to watch the first four minutes. No more than that, because the, the video is like 10 minutes long. Don't watch it all. Only watch the first minutes. So the last video goes for Nelson. Uh, let me see. Guadalupe, are you with us? I'm not sure if Guadalupe is with us. Juan Carlos, are you participating with us? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. So Juan Carlos, nice. Okay. And uh, who else is missing? So Diana Jorge, Marios, <laughs> Tatiana Susana Olga, Ariela Wendy, Claudia, Silvia. I feel somebody's missing. But Manuel is not here. Raquel is not here. Maria is not In Guadalupe, I'm not sure if Guadalupe is with us. So, Guadalupe. Okay, the last video, guys, uh, that I'm gonna share, that I'm gonna share here. Oh, Neil. No, Nelson, I already got him. Okay, so Nelson, Juan Carlos, and Guadalupe. The last video is for you guys, and uh, the last video is about a power outage. So watch the video, listen to it, take notes. This video is really short, so you can watch it as many times as you want. I'm going to give you like seven minutes max. Uh, the longest video uh, is the one that Ariela, Wendy, Claudia, and Sylvia have. But guys, please, no vean más de cuatro minutos. Don't watch more than four minutes. Norma, did I include you in there? Siento que me falta alguien. I feel I'm missing somebody. I know, so Norma missing you. Okay, Norma, so you go in the last video. That's why I was like, wait, I'm missing somebody. Okay, so Norma, you go in the last video. Uh, please, it's super short. Guys, watch it, take notes, get new vocabulary, and then you tell us or you describe your video to us. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah.
Guys, are you ready? Do you need more time? So guys, do you need more time for the listening exercise or are you ready? Uh, I think I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> I didn't understand a lot of words, words but. <laughs> Hi. It's my son. Hola. No, Hi, me. boy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so you didn't understand a lot of the, uh, uh, how many or how much of it? <laughs> almost uh, the almost the one minute. <laughs> you understood almost everything. Uh, yes. Ah, okay. But he speak a little too. No, very fast, very fast, and his his lips are and close. Was, Yes, was very mm -hmm. difficult to understand. I have to put the subtitles, but in English, because if I put in Spanish, I think. Mm -hmm. You need to translate everything yeah. back to, to English again. Mm -hmm. Your video is number two. It's, oh it's about the, 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 the protest, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. The protesters. Okay. Yes. Okay, okay. Guys, uh, what about the rest? Do you need more time? Norma, do you need more time? Claudia Nelson, are you ready? I heard like four minutes of my video. And I understand it's very difficult. Uh, tampering, right? Like food yes. manipulation. Yes. Okay. Yes. Would you like more time uh, to listen to the video again? Or 
or did you get a couple of ideas already? Did you take notes? Yes, I take notes. Okay, already. Guys, what about the rest? I think a couple of ideas, teacher. Okay, did you get the video? Did you understand what it was about? Yes, I understand. In that case, is is about uh, Lee. I understand is the son of the owner of Samsung. Okay. And he was in jail because bravery. Ah, in that video, there is a lot of vocabulary. <laughs> uh, that is really interesting. Bribery. Uh -huh. So bribery, bribery, corruption, and I don't remember what else. So bribery. bribery, corruption is... Yeah, right. bribery and corruption. Uh -huh. So that would be it. Okay. Okay, okay. All righty. So, guys, I guess we are good. So we can share a little bit of your video. Okay, give me just a moment. Um, we are just going to move to the groups for five more minutes because uh, I want you to try to explain what you remember from the video, what ideas you got from it. And after five minutes, guys, I'm going to bring you back so we can discuss and we can share it in general what you got, right? So give me just a moment. You have only five minutes, guys. Try to explain the fastest you can your video, what it was about, the most important things you remember. Um, the most important vocabulary you understood and you got from your video. Uh, if you understand, if you understood a little, that's okay. If you understood almost everything, oh, that is even better. <laughs> that is perfect. So let's go, guys. So five minutes. Go, 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 go.
Hi guys, thanks a lot for joining. We are go just going to wait on the rest of the guys to come. Okay, so. Okay, all right, already guys. So thanks a lot for coming back. Guys, I want, I would like to listen to your opinion. I'd like to listen to your point of view. So um, videos like this, like real English videos, less function and do you think they work for you? Um, are, they, are they challenging enough? Son lo suficientemente, um, I don't know, challenging, so les presentan retos, or están muy difíciles, were you too complicated to understand too much vocabulary? How do you feel this video, guys? Well, these videos, because fueron varios. The one is in my case, in the first view, mm -hmm. I don't understand on the third no. When I put the... The, the first time. Yeah, the first view, uh, I, if, uh, I understand Samsung, present, uh, police. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. And the and second the, time? The second time when I put the subtitles, subtitles. Mm -hmm. yeah, in that case, yeah. You got a little more. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, guys, uh-huh. Too, too fast how, my, how they speak. The way they speak is too fast. Okay, okay. All right, guys, what about the rest? What do you think? Uh, so, creo que el de food tampering estaba un poquito largo, but you know, the idea was not to listen to it all, sino tener general things. Uh, guys, I, I consider, teacher. Yes, Jorge. I consider that I can understand best when I, I hear, for example, a uh, Korean people or people that the English is the second language. Ah, interesting, okay. Than, than so English. Korean is easier. Oh. It's okay. best that understand that American people, for example. American or British, okay, so first language. Because okay. I think they, they, they are not, they speak native. Not native. Mm -hmm. And they speak very fast. That is a real English, and I think it's very difficult to understand okay. the first time, teacher. Okay. It, it was really difficult. Already. But so yes, in, yes, Mario. Um, in my case, I uh actually I, I like to 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 hear uh, native speakers because uh, actually I normally I speak with uh with people that is not native speakers. Okay. Uh, so I like to hear them uh, okay. because uh, that the Jorge says that the, when when I heard the the Korean guy speaking, actually mm -hmm. was really good to to follow him. Oh, but, it was easy. Oh, yeah, okay. it was easy. But the thing also when. It, it it's happened to me when I speak with uh with some uh person that the the English is either, either second language, okay. like a Chinese or people from uh from Asian, maybe not Korean, nor okay. Japan, uh some of them is really difficult to understand. Most okay. of them Chinese and uh, also some of uh the Indian guys. Also, there is a kind of hard to understand. Okay, okay, that's a really nice, a nice point, and 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 Jorge mentioned that as well. That it's easier to understand people in which you know, uh, people that have English as a second language, right? Guys, quick question: Les funcionaría eh, si les envío un video y lo escuchan en los minutos que tengan libre tomorrow y lo discutimos por la noche? Would it work? Para que vayamos trabajando listening. I mean, no videos de una hora, right? That's not the idea. But los videos que revisamos today, algunos eran de dos minutos, two minute videos. So, ¿creen que funcionaría? Would you do it? Se comprometerían a, a escucharlo, you know? Cinco minutos que tengan sin hacer mucho, que quieran revisar Facebook, que sean aburridos. Would it work for you? 
Yes, 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 teacher. teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay, let's do that. It's but a let's good voy idea. A... Bueno, let me check, yeah. let me look for a video um, que pueda ser cortito. Solo les voy a pedir, guys, no le pongan subtitles. Eh, you know, dense duro, escúchenlos unas 30 veces, pónganlo ahí ya como en su playlist. <laughs> ok, que les aparezca cada ratito de alarma, whatever. But eh, no le pongan subtitles, don't play subtitles, para que nuestro oído se acomode, right? And... Um, eh, Mario, eh, Mr. Villada lo dijo al inicio, que esta es la primera vez que escuchan tres palabras que logren entender, pero tal vez la segunda vez ya no sean tres, va a ser el doble, va a ser el triple, eso es la idea, right? Nuestro oído se debe ir acostumbrando. Um, so let's do it, les voy a mandar something? a short one. Yes, absolutely. Uh, uh, something that uh, sometimes I do, that okay. I put this slowly, or it's slow music, kind of slow motion or something like that ah, in order the to speed. speak it slowly yeah if oh, there is mm -hmm. some some word that i cannot uh understand the first time i put this slow and i try to uh to understand it and drive what uh i've heard mm, and amazing. then mm -hmm. and then uh i put in the normal speed mm -hmm. and that's helped me to uh to understand uh, to understand what they're saying. Amazing. Yeah, guys. I mean, la idea es ir trabajando nuestro oído little by little because no estamos en un ambiente de inglés eh, todos los días, a excepción de Mr. Valle. <laughs> uh, and I think Tatiana probably. Or kind Diana. of, kind of. But the rest of us no estamos expuestos. Entonces, el listening obviamente va a ser la habilidad que nos vaya a tomar un poquito más de tiempo de desarrollar, right? Entonces, si no escuchamos música, videos. So, hagamos eso. Le voy a mandar un video cortito, like a short video. Eh, super good recommendation, eh, Mr. Valle. Pueden cambiarle la velocidad. No es necesaria que la pongan a la velocidad normal. Reduzcan a todo lo que necesitan. Listen again to the normal speed. Y veamos, you know, si vamos eh, durante estas dos semanas, da, well, una y media <laughs> que nos faltan. You know, we can work a little with listening that way. All right, guys. Uh, thanks, everybody, for your attendance. Thanks for the participation. Acabo de ya tomar um, attendance with your cameras. No worries. And um, thanks, everybody. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Ya les busco el video and I'll send it over to you. Thank you. Yes, in the group, okay. in uh, WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. I'll send it over, no worries. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Have an amazing night. Good 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 see you, see you. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bless you. Bye-bye. Sleep well, guys.